We're here back again, we're here with Sunderland Reacts and Michael Bowers as well, two massive Sunderland YouTubers, bloggers, or whatever we're calling ourselves nowadays. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a video here where we look at Sunderland's all-time combined 11. We're going to pick that up in a future video against Newcastle's and we're going to try to merge them into one team. So we're here, Sunderland outside the stadium, right in the Hilton. We want to try to get your guys all time 11. So plenty to choose from. Obviously, we're talking about Premier League. You guys had some huge, gigantic players back in the day. If we start off goalkeeper, first of all, so who was the best ever goalkeeper that's played at Sunderland? A spoiler, by the way, I've not been at the football anywhere near as long as Sean, so he's going to probably be doing he's, a lot he's of this. He's been for the last 12 years. Mike has got, a, he's got an excellent uh, brain in football. Anything post 2011, basically. Post, yeah. Before I'll, then, I'm clear. I'll go back 30 years, but. Right, stop. What, 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 what system? First of all, what system are we going to be playing here? Like, if, if, we, if we go standard 4 4 2, two but then the, the, the wingers can kind of move forward if they want, so you can do it maybe 3 4 3 So four, in two, structure, two. standard 4 4 2, but it can be flexible. It can be flexible, okay. flexible yeah. Oh, okay. right. Goalkeeper first, mate. Right. That's well, your, your best goalkeeper you've seen in the, in the last 12 years. Uh, right, the last 12, right. So since I've got a full best goalkeeper, we've had some stickers. And, and my so we, yeah, well, we, we've, yeah, we've had some good ones, had some stickers, haven't we? Um, <laughs> best one for me has got to be Jordan Pickford, I think. It's either him he's or Simon. Up, it's, 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 like, it's either him or Simon Mignolet for me, but I'd say Pickford no, just about. I would have picked Pickford, obviously because you know. He's, bear, he's bear, in in mind, yeah, bear in mind, he constantly bailed us out in a lot of games. And because and yeah. with the, he was not the reason we got relegated. He's no, the reason he, we didn't get was, relegated sooner. Even Moyes, I think, was the way, was the reason. I think that's no comment good. on that man. <laughs> but yeah. Even though he just won the he won the European Cup, so he's proved that he can yeah. be a good manager, but he couldn't be bothered yeah. at Sunderland. That's all it was. I mean, a shout. I mean, I didn't watch him, but I shout probably just because he made the best Premier League save of all time. Was Craig Gordon was one up there. But for me, I probably yeah. both out of the keepers I've watched called Jordan Pickford. Yeah. Well, mine is uh, it's, um, back of the 2000 season. It was he was at here. I think it was about four or five years. I think I could be wrong there. But it was in the couple of seasons we finished uh, seventh. We had two seasons where we finished seventh. Uh, it was signed for a pretty low fee. Pretty big signed him. Um, and he had uh, done well in the derbies as well. Saved a couple of penalty. Well, it's, it's a penalty from Shearer. Yeah. That's not the reason though. But I thought he was a solid goalkeeper. Uh, Thomas uh, Sonson was yeah. uh, the one for me. I think it was. He was, a, he was just a solid goalkeeper, good, yeah, no. good um, shot stopper, and commanded the box. Yeah. Pulled us out with, you know, put some unbelievable saves up. I thought he was a brilliant keeper, but that for me, I would go with Thomas Sorensen. But who we go? We need, we need a joint decision. Right, was it Thomas Sorensen then? Yeah. Sorensen. Oh, Thomas Sorensen. Remember though, you'd have to come with me all the time, but I just think. No, but I just think because he was part of the team that finished seventh, seventh whereas, whereas Pickford, albeit no fault of his own, yeah. was part of the David Moyes team that finished. Now, theoretically speaking, so. you could you could see a. Pickford is a better keeper than Sonson, but I'm just speaking and the fact that um, Sonson will finish seventh and he done well in the top, he's obviously yeah. in, um, and I, That I, doesn't, that doesn't love, harm his cause, does it? He yeah. loves Sonson, so he still still comments, he loves Sonson, so that's, okay. I, mean, I think we should go with, with Thomas Sonson as our, okay. as our goalkeeper. Yeah, there we go, so we've got the goalkeeper, no Jordan Pickford in the first one, so we'll do the centre-back pairing as well, so what's your two centre-backs of all them. time? There's obviously a lot to choose <laughs> I from can't, I can't really think of anyone who's because cause, cause I've seen a lot of shite. <laughs> um, oh my God. Might be easier doing the worst election. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be quite fun. I'm sure you need to have a future video. That'd be quite fun. Yeah. That'd be quite... Well, I was going to say funny, but it's more like... Uh, How's a horror kind of thing? How's a PTSD <laughs> thinking of all the players we have? Right, centre-backs. Let's just name some centre-backs. I'll come back to the 2000. I thought, like... Um, Steve Bolton, well, he was here for um, a season. Yeah. Steve Bolton from Arsenal. He was, yeah, okay. he was a solid defender. I was thinking, but I, I wouldn't put him in at all the time, but... I mean, he had a good season that season. Um, you couldn't see it by players like um, trying to come back that season. We've got promoters. Um, Melville, he was a good defender. Then you had um, you got Wes Brown, who'd done well, but it was one of the kitchen um, things with them, wasn't it? Um, John O'Shea. I was thinking of ones who've played the high level. What names John O'Shea had, was yeah. a, 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 he was a Champions League winner. You know what I mean, with Man United and so was Wes Brown. So that's why I would sort of put them, put in, them the in the conversation. You know what I mean? The only two I can think of. And this is there's one of them is a player who had a good six months and basically was crap ever since. I mean, Corny was one of them in that first six months under Big Sam. He was immense, quite, quite absolutely immense. Quite and, and Eunice Kabul alongside him. I thought what? those those oh. two, those two, just from when I've watched as a centre half pairing, they were very very. That's two. Solid. That's two names. They were they were they were big big reason why we stayed up under Big Sam that year. Yeah. The only, I mean, you could put, if them just stood steers and, and we under Big Sam we didn't go to England. Just imagine what them two would have been like. Well, I mean, Corny dread down tools, didn't he? But yeah, maybe that was because Kabul wasn't there. Maybe he's, um, he would have persuaded him to stay in the Maybe one more um, centre backs. So centre backs, yeah. Sent my parent that was uh, what was it? Was mine was um, obviously you said John O'Shea, didn't just you? Because they've been they've been here a few years. John O'Shea, he'd never lost a derby. Um, I thought he was a that's an incredible leader. stat by the way. He's a great leader. Lost a never lost a derby. Jo uh, West Brown did because West Brown was part of the team. What the first game? The five, yeah. I think it was a five-one. No, he came in the summer of 2011. 
but he would have been part of the team that lost 1-0, you know, when Ryan Taylor scored the free kick. Oh, like, so, so he, he lost, he was in that game. Actually, right? hold that thought, let me check it. <laughs> you know, you just keep talking. No, but, like you say, for me, I, I, I've done this a, a couple of times, and I, I go back to the, them, um, them stats, where the, the derbies, but also the player in itself. Um, I know John O'Shea was involved in a lot of the, the games where we sh um, battled to stay up, but on the derbies, they were brilliant, and they had, um, won Champions League, John O'Shea, West Brown won Champions League, so obviously I'm naming them too, but you can go back as far as, um, I mean, Steve Bold was brilliant that year when we finished seventh. Uh, it wasn't a great opening, we got by 4 off Chelsea, but um, then you've got like players like, I guess Michael says, uh, Jonas Kabul um, was, a, was a season. Um, Coney was absolutely, he was colossal, he was brilliant, Coney, but he tarnished his reputation at Southern, by the way, he went on when Everton put the 30 million bid in because he had in a transfer. Yeah. Got he, too big he, for his boots, he wasn't dealt, he? He dealt, yeah. with it, with, he dealt with it really wrong. Um, trying to go back further with centre backs. Um, more by the way, let you know, yeah, Wes Brown did play in the 1 0. Defeat. Yeah, so yeah. he wasn't wasn't in the five one. Yeah, so um, no, it was better. Well, for me, the two I was thinking of was obviously Lamine Corny was I said before was up there, but that was because the first uh, the the big Sam version of Lamine Corny was was a rock. He was like yeah. a man mountain. He, he was basically as Sean likes me saying a unit. <laughs> unit, <at the> man. <laughs> unit, uh, unit, unit heads the ball. A uh, unit scored a couple of goals against them. Evan didn't he? Yeah. When obviously we sent Newcastle down, which well, that was that was a great night that one. Yeah, that was a three well, nil victory for, for Chris. Bless him, it probably wasn't, but yeah, for, for us I, it was. Uh, I went to work that night with the, with me, me Johnny was a supervisor. Excellent player as well. Excellent player. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Vincent. He only played a couple of games, but he was a fear when that. Well, <laughs> okay, okay. it wasn't. It was that night. It was more the fact that we finally had a competent manager who uh, kept yeah, us up in the level. I yeah. thought, oh, the next season will be interesting. <laughs> well, it definitely was for the wrong reasons, but uh, let's not go there. But yeah, no, Lamine Corney, but after Big Sam left, he down tools basically, didn't he? Yeah. So, but for me, when we had Corney and Kabul together for the second half of that season, I thought that was one of the best centre half pairings in the league. I think we, I think we ended up displaying some like top half of the table form with mm -hmm. them at the back. Yeah. But I think for me, I'd probably just edge towards Eunice Goo. You said John O'Shea for yours. Yeah, I've got to go with um, O'Shea yeah. just because yeah, that's I, thought, I thought, like, you know, some of the games that laid up with the League Cup as well when we we're nearly beat Man City, I thought he was just a brilliant Thanks, leader. Yeah, yeah. He was a brilliant leader. And I know I'm just thinking when he, when he, his first few years, or so, obviously the back few years when he. That's going to happen. He got older, didn't he? The double yeah. relegation, obviously, he, he sort of uh, deteriorated a little bit, but yeah. I thought he was. He was uh, a in his first few seasons. He was yeah. Yeah. I'd say probably Eunice Kabul for me for the other one because well, Eunice Kabul because I felt because yeah. I felt like Eunice Kabul was a big figure on the pitch when he played, especially yeah. with Corny, and I think we felt we felt his departure when it happened yeah. massively. So and then left backs. Who's our spoke for choice left back over the years? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, um, obviously he says Danny Rose, didn't you? That was a, a one. No, I didn't I say Callum McFadden? Callum McFadden. It was all the left back we had for a little bit for the evening play game. Well, Declan John. <laughs> Declan Do you know it's funny, right? That he's doing, that he's doing, he, did, he did more against us than for us. Remember the 6 0 Bolton under oh, Sean's right. favourite head coach, Lee Johnson. Super League, Super League Johnson. Super, Super, Super League oh, Johnson, who you got sacked, apparently. Um, no, the Declan, the fans, Declan, the Declan, Declan, Declan John scored against us. It was basically like a ghost on Wearside. side. He never played. The two options I said were Danny Rose on those on loan from Tottenham in the 12 13 season, and then the season later in January 2014, Marcus Alonso joined them. Yeah. And I think they were both. Patrick Van, Aan, Patrick Van Aanholt when he got his act Cole, together I thought, I thought he was brilliant as well yeah. not Van quite not, for me Van Aanholt wasn't quite as good as the other two but right I think he was there. but he was good you name three there I mean I love Van Aanholt as well I thought he was great getting forward he had some under Big Sam he was but then very, when Big Sam come he, he made him organised and could defend him a good all round player funny yeah. enough yeah it's funny well, what, what a good coach can do with him obviously I said Mickey Greer in that um, you did yes. it was 11 years at Sunderland he finished seventh. Maybe um, maybe don't select him for penalties, person. But oh, nah, in, in that year, down yeah. charting that Wembley, and I was crying my eyes out. But that day, but yeah, Mickey Gray was for me. He's a great servant, and oh, he, 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 <laughs> he done brilliant at left back. I thought he was, um, he was left wing when he started, but then Peter Reid brought him back into left back. I'm trying to think of more, but they're the ones that stand up. But you've named just Danny Rose. Um, Van Aanholt Van Aanholt and Alonso. I can't really see any, any more. But, than well, three there. Well, like, well, yeah. I mean, if, if if you want me to pick it, then I would say. Alonso's point. I think again, he was especially with, I, between I Alonso. Like, I think we, we, we said before that. I said before that. I think Alonso and Danny Rose is like that. That, that tight. Like it's so they're so good mm -hmm. left Dan backs. But for me, Marcus Alonso just edges it. Danny Rose had the potential to be the, one of the best left backs in the country. But and it's funny since, since, he, since he fell out with Mourinho, he's just gone really down. Yeah. Um, Alonso was the left back. So Alonso for me. Back well. four. Alonso, Bozzi, so, right, Bozzi, right back. John O'Shea and Jonas Kabul and our keeper Thomas Johnson. Yes, yeah, so we've got a good okay. solid back yeah, five yeah. there. <laughs> then, so yeah. central midfield. Then we've got right. two positions here. Right. 
I'll go, I'll go as back as yeah. uh, Alex Weir. I thought Alex Weir was a, a great leader in the middle. Kevin Ball, you he, he, he could put a tackle like in. Like said, you wouldn't get on the wrong side of the He could put a tackle in mind when, really he, when, he, when he absolutely wiped out uh, Duncan Ferguson in the derby. Yeah. And the ball went and hit the crossbar. <laughs> that was when we won, we won in the rain 2-1. Um, Lee Clark was there. That just sums up Kevin Lee Ball. Lee Clark, even though he was a Geordie, he was playing for Newcastle. I tell you what, he was a brilliant player for Sunderland. Two yeah. years, quality player in the middle. And uh, you could see a Don Hutchison was sort of a centre midfielder. Um, obviously, you'll, you'll get in the name notes now. Yeah. Um, Jan Veyland, Jack Rodwell, um, <laughs> <laughs> Max Power, Max <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Obi Ajari, Lee Catamol. Lee Catamol was the best. Years. I thought Lee Catamol was good, but I think it was too few far between, really. Yeah. I think uh, midfield for me, that I think probably the two big ones I can think of again were during the big Sam time was was Jan and Vieh. I think was when yeah. he, he's a bit, a bit of a temperament at the start, yeah. but once he got that sorted oh, and got and got enough of quality, yeah. So Sunderland, please sign him in January. <laughs> um, please get him back. But um, yeah, Jan and Beer was up there. He, he yeah. just uh, oozed class, composure, brilliant, brilliant pass ran, over the ball, ran, ran a lot of games, interceptions, ran, 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 ran the midfield in some big, oh, like, against some good teams as well, oh, by yeah. the way. Um, and the other one for me, and this is the issue of fitness when mm. Big Sam signed was Jan Kirchhoff. But Big Sam, when when Big Sam managed him and he got him fit, he, he ran the show mm -hmm. a lot of the time. I yeah. think for me personally, I just think because Jan and Beer was probably here that season a bit longer. I think, I mean, we'll forget about Jan Kirchhoff afterwards because boys didn't manage him well at all. But like that scene, I'd say Jan and Beer we saw more of. So yeah. I think out of the two, you could name either of them for me, but I'd say Jan and Beer. But then you've got um, Norwich Sarnham as well. He went grand back yeah, you're saying, yeah. And then there was, um, what was that other one? It was, oh, I forget the name. Really skillful. Paddy McNair? No, the small, <laughs> small one. Just deliberately naming. <laughs> but he was really skillful. He, he played in the derby and won 2 1 up there, 2008. Oh, I'm going his name, but he was, but he smoked bad as well. He was, I'm sure he was, was he French, but. No, he was he was he was like a left foot on the, on the right wing. Oh, it's not the same. I can't think of his name. He right, hold on. He played in that in the two thousand eight derby. Played in that game. Are you going to come back to that game and see the team? Yeah, that's what I'm going to try yeah. and look forward to. Two thousand eight. Well, one two one. Don't stop talking, man. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what I'll do is I'll give you guys home advantage. Like what's happening with derby upcoming or. or Previous, as the video yeah. might go out, I'll let you guys choose the formation, and I'll put Newcastle's Steve formation. Uh, that yeah. Was the one. yeah. Go, no, that's Tottenham, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah um, so right. right so I'll let, I'll let you choose the formation, then I'll get Newcastle to match it. So if you want to go four three three, if you want to go whatever, I'll let you pick. See, I would say four two three one. Enies are blessed with strikers, as far as I remember. There's quite a few strikers there. Well, yeah, the, uh, we've also had a fair few dozen, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Kevin Phillips, you had Nile Quinn. Well, of course, yeah. Um, Jermaine yeah, Defoe. Dan, Dan and Ben, Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know what? I'd, I'd be tempted to go with 4 1 3 2. So Just because you've got one holding, then you've got you've got an, you've got an cam, and then yeah. you've got a right and left midfield, and then two strikers up top. Just because I think it's easier to pick that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, Even though I don't you think could. that's a formation many teams need to play, but you know. You've got, you got your. The thing of uh, Diallo, I mean, he was that good. Would he be in the all time sort of team? Well, we'll discuss that in a minute. But what do you think? Are you happy with 4 1 3 2? Or do you want to go for a different system? So, three in the middle is. is no, 4 1 3 2. So, you've got four, the, the back five go Yeah, which we've picked. We've picked the then, defensive yeah. midfielder. So you've got the defensive midfielder, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you've essentially got three in front of the defensive midfielder and two forwards. Right. So, you've got a, 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 a sort of left winger, a right, and, 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 and left a mid, mid, left mid, right mid, attacking mid. No, and then two that, yeah, yeah. It's going to be happy with that. It's going to be hard in there, but then you've only got one strike. I just think it's easier to do that. You've only got one strike, you see it. No, you've got four. No, right. <laughs> I've got to explain this one three times. you got the goalkeeper. Yeah. Right back, left back, right, right back, left back, centre back, yeah, centre got, back. We've got, got the four, we've got the Then in front of them, you've got one holding midfielder. Yeah. And then in front of them, in front of you, you've got the cam. Right. Then you've got the left, left, left wide, and wide right. Oh, right, right, right. And then in front of them, you've got two forwards. Oh, right, two, right, right. Okay, we'll, we'll do that, yeah. All right, then, okay. Just because I think it would right. be easier. Right, okay. that we'll means. do that one then. So we've got the midfield sorted. So who's the wingers then? Right, so have we settled on the midfield? Um, oh, on the midfield line. It's Yang and Beer, wasn't it? And then. Yeah, well, I suggest Yang and Beer, but if Sean's got a different idea. No, no, it's Yang and Beer for me, yeah. Are you sure? Oh, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. no, that's fine. So what's the next? And then was it Mel Bronk as well? Was no, that, I was, or was, I was that just was, a shout? I was just thinking of random names. Who have we got for the other central midfield then? Well, the, well, in the system for Attack. four one three two, it's going to be a cam, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, well, there's, there's probably we've had some school players playing, haven't we? To be mm -hmm. fair, um, sometimes he played on the right, but I thought he was very, very dangerous down the middle. I'd say Stefan Sessegnon. Oh, God, yeah. there's a the one there. So you're going to Stefan, Se Stefan Sessegnon yeah. was. When when he was on it, what a like, player! What a player! When he when he was on it, especially uh, during when Mark, the season Martin O'Neill came in and replaced yeah. Steve Bruce, he was that season he was he was unplayable. Do you know he what? He, he's been on he's on all eleven teams, and oh, I kind of I don't know. 
Yeah, he, 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 I think he's Sesson the, all, the, all, the best. Patrick Roberts is probably for me the best dribbler of the ball I've seen since Sesson yeah. In terms of how the ball's glued to his feet, it's just Sesson Young. Sesson Young had an end product and he could yeah, score he did. the ball yeah. as well. Could be terrorised. Oh, yeah. the, game I remember, the game I remember in particular was when we drew 3 3 at Man City. Oh, and he's I, we should have won that um, game actually, yeah. but Sesson Young, and Sesson Young tore them apart. Oh, I, like, I tell you what, what, what a player. I love oh, Sesson Young. Oh, putting him on the left or nice. putting him attack and mid? Ta- ta- for now, right? attack and midfield. Attack and mid, right? We can change it later. Yeah, But remember, it doesn't have to be rigid. It could interchange, couldn't it? Sesson Young. Young is definitely in the, he's got to be in there yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. okay right um, and then what we're doing left, what, we're a left winger left whichever left. way you want to go first okay, right left winger right <laughs> okay maybe it's a bit harder than I thought <laughs> okay <laughs> right hang on uh, no, I'm thinking, I'll, I'll, I'll think of right I, I, I need to think of figures to get right Seb Larson on the right um, Nicky Summerby Seb Larson yes yeah. mm-hmm. So that was um, for me after his first season was flattered to deceive, but I think he, I mean he gave it hundred percent. Set play potential well, that he had was phenomenal. Was deadly from set pieces. Mm. Um, oh, this is tricky. Maybe Do you want to go strikers, strikers, and then come back or? Kevin Unke, Kevin Richardson. Was he was more like a left back, wasn't he? Someone who's more. Like yeah, a left he played back. Play further. But I suppose we've got to discuss him. I'm at Diallo. Is, is he one of? Is he he's one he's of definitely going to be in the, is in the mix. Okay. Yeah. When he had Mbappe, he was one season. So we've got to sort of, you know. I know Dial's probably one of the best loan players in making, but one of the be- one of the best loan players in terms yeah. of making an impact. Yeah. Um, trying to think back to when we were in the Prem, like who we, we have. I said Mark Buckley, he was he was like an attack attack midfielder. Could you the say Fabio Barini to a sense, like the first season when he was here on loan? Yeah. But obviously there's probably been better than him. He was a, he was more of a striker role, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, chipped in with a few goals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he did yeah. quite a few important ones as mm-hmm. well. Um. Well, there was one player I could think of who was very good on the right, but I'd rather not mention him. No, no. I was just about to say, can't, can't mention, mention his name. No, um, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, well, no, we'll not include him. For <laughs> I thought reasons. Nicky Sumby was a was a fa- was a, a fan's favourite. He could hit the ball as well. well. Why don't you go Nicky Sumby for one of them then? And I would, I, I think in the Premier League, sort of, I think that level was a little, bit, a little bit too far. I'm just trying to think of players like Wayne for some. I think if he's still a player because he put the cross in for for Niall Quinn like in the Premier League, um, good cross with the ball. James McLean. <laughs> Excellent cross <laughs> of the ball. I think he was a left one. Yeah, but I don't think he was a what he was a half yeah. season wonder, wasn't he? Really? More crazy, like, uh, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have changed the system. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look at strikers then, and then because I mean you're, you're flush with strikers. You've obviously uh, got the four. Yeah. You've got Ben. You've got even looking back at the early Premier League Quinn and everyone who. who As- 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think he was all right. He was uh, right. He left us in well, obviously mm-hmm. the, the two op- two obvious options you've said before, Quinn and Phillips are up there. Yeah, yeah. Are, are they are they automatic? Because obviously you've got more recent ones than that. Obviously well, Darren Bent went on. People love love Phillips. Mm-hmm. Uh, great striker, you know. Club hero. Yeah. yeah. Um, Quinn was brilliant, but then they were brilliant together. In fact, but you got to four. It was it was a, it was a absolute unreal finisher. Yeah, I mean, you could put like, and, and especially when, because I imagine that Quinn and Phillips would have thrived off getting service off players. Defoe yeah. didn't yeah. have that; he had to make a lot of his own goals. Is, is, is the four get ahead of Ben, or does Ben get ahead of no, Defoe? Because there's not me. a lot to choose. Defoe for me. Defoe, Defoe, yeah. Defoe was Ben was good, mate. Mm-hmm. He did his job. He did what he was a good finisher. But I thought Defoe was just different class, like different class. And we still Adam when he come, he still had a good few years, and he still had his peak. He just, yeah, he, he did. No, he did. He did. But you look at them two strikers, and then you look at the left wing and the right wing. You're gonna need two. Who put crosses in? So you got. Mm. Do you well, to, 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 to be fair, tact. but to be fair, you could put Sessegnon as one of the wide options, and think of someone else to go in the centre, like a tech. Do you as the centre and then put? Well, all right, then you can think, think of that. Right. Well, okay. But if you're talking, Sandra, if you're just, well, if say, say you did put Diallo in there, you got Diallo, you got Sessegnon, um, and then you and then you probably didn't need one other player really. And I'm trying to think, Wabi Kazri, I liked. When, when mm. he was he, he, another player would tarnish yourself like Cornia, mm-hmm. which went on a bit silly the way. You know to be I mean? fair, him, Moyes treated him like te- terribly, mind. But he's um, massively, I think he's massively overweight as well. I think when he come back, he was. But, but again, I think a lot of that was down to the fact that Moyes just didn't, didn't, didn't treat him very didn't well. And I think, and it's not an excuse, right. obviously, but yeah, when when what Big Sam. <laughs> All I'll say is, if, if this was a sort of, if this was an all-time laziest eleven, he'd be in the, he'd be all right in amongst no, it. He I was he was someone who should have been really I good, but ended up being. I think Nicky Sonbey. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna think because he does not not, not near my guest mentioned, but I'm gonna say Nicky Sonbey. Okay, we'll give him his right wing because he put a right wing. Tell you what, okay. He could put a cross in. He could boy could he put a cross in. Okay, right. And he could hit the ball as well. So I'll go with Nicky Sonbey on the right. All right, okay. And you can fit the left. Okay. Uh, Sessegnon's definitely in this. Oh, 100 percent. He hands right, okay. down. So Mike, Sessegnon's the ten. Yeah. And then you've got Nicky Summerbeat, right? You're gonna be a hold and. Mr. Holland's field, oh, that's a good, a good team. Right, okay. Uh, left midfield. 
this is almost struggling with now. This is the problem because yeah. again, Barini was really good, but again, is he in, warranted enough to be like? Cause have have we not got Diallo in as well? Did we take him out? We to be so fair, when Diallo did play, he didn't wasn't rigidly on the right though. He's got to be number ten. Couldn't he? But here's another one: if you're going to include Diallo, do you include Jack Clark? Well, I was just about to see that. I was just about to see if you're going to include Jack Diallo Clark. In the but you're looking at Jack Clark in League One, the championship. He's doing at the championship. Yeah, true. And then Nicky somebody but, was in the championship. But the thing is, when when, when Ahmad when Diallo came here, you could tell his quality was like especially from Christmas last year. You could tell his quality was a level above. Yeah. Like, um, Dodi Arthur was down the left. Dodi was more like left left back in a sense. Mickey Gray but they could play left wing but yeah I'm trying to try to buy myself a bit of time here to try and <laughs> a bit of pace on that left wing then if I had both of them <laughs> uh, Danny Rose strikers, as well strikers will get the wrap will wrap up straight away because mm-hmm. I know Michael will pick bodies and I'll pick the other one but I'll be quick, really quick with that one but I think it's a struggle with the left wing I'm trying to pick the left wingers I'm thinking jeez this is it's, it's like one more cut in or do you like one more cut down the left and put cross in but we've got down the right somebody we could put a cross in so you are, but, but you it's know, the strikers that. you need to think so if you've got the strikers depending on who you've got there are they the strikers that need the balls in or are they ones that you want well, good, uh, score yeah, mm-hmm. well, the four good to score and you know oh, yeah, but was Nicky somebody strictly a winger or could he play he was a right winger, winger. That, was, well, yeah, that was it I was going to suggest you could just watch the, switch the system to a 4-3-3 and had Sessegnon and, some, and um, Nicky Summerby in front of Yanavia, and then you could have like three forwards. But then you got Seb Larson as well, but you yeah. sort of you won sort of. I didn't think he was consistent enough yeah. to be to That's fair. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. But again, I, see, I want to pick Diallo though. But, but can you pick him when we've had him in the championship? That's the thing that's mm. holding me back from that. Yeah. You got, and that's why you got to see with Jack Clark. Jack Clark's done it in League One, and then he's done he's done it in the championship fans down. But and I think he'd be able to do it in the Premier League, but mm. he hasn't done it in, in the Premier League. So all these players we've named here are players who's played in the in the, in the Premier League. If you want to be technical. Yeah. Dick Avocat played Jimmy to form the left wing. <laughs> so could you play him there then? And then and then it, it, we just love say, oh then you could have two two strikers. That's a show. Alright, do you know what? Just for a laugh then, Jimmy right. before, go on then. Put Jimmy the four on the left. Thank you. Dick Avocat, I like him for one thing. He, he kept himself for well yeah, <laughs> he kept that, that was rubbish. But then he, but then the, but the son of fans But it's alright, we gave him flowers. It's alright. <laughs> um, but then the, the son of fans did not refer him over here. But he sort of not begging to steer because he was yet yeah, was in a contract, but then the Sort of so this is an exclusive. Is Sean saying he gave Mowbray flowers, even though he says he didn't <laughs> like them? <laughs> no, but like he don't. Yeah, he shouldn't say he done well. The fans sort of like loved him in the sense. I didn't. I didn't really sort of. I'd st- I've never written him as a manager, but he did do all right. But then I thought the fans got behind him, and yeah. the owners are thinking of. I hope we got back up to Tony Moore. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, sorry, no. yeah, no. But, uh, so on the left, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put the four just because I had the cap player in there, so I can feel a bit justified, but also because it's you can't think yeah. of anyone. So the four on the left, and we've got somebody on the right. Four on the other, yeah, four on the other, yeah, and Sesson on the front. That's 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 brilliant. That's got some. Now we've got so striker, strikers. Yeah. Right, so go on. I think obviously you have one, I have one. Or just obviously talk the about us, talk your reasons why you. Right, you're well, the, you're the, the, only, the only other one I can think of really is Bent. He was quality. And Bent was one where he, we, uh, the time he was quality. England as well. Yeah, um, I still can't get out Fabio Capello. Oh, you can go to Aston Villa, who's in the relegation uh, zone, whereas we were battling for Europe. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean Bent. I mean, obviously Defoe would have been me shout for an option, but yeah, Def- I think Bent's got to be up there in terms just in terms of you know, obviously got goals. He was someone who was very good at the time. His stock was very high. Um, that's probably the only other one I can really pick other than Defoe mm-hmm. I mean obviously look I mean, you've had other good strikers like Ross Stewart's another one but again he did it mostly in League 1 so I can't really so Ben is uh, Ben, ben is pro- look I wouldn't complain if you went Quinn and Phillips up top you know, I, was wondering, I wanted you to pick one but I was, I was thinking well to be fair I suggested Sessegnon I've suggested Defoe on the left wing no, so you could that's right. you can have, you can have, you can have Sessegnon he's just absolutely well, that's quality. what I mean so because absolutely absolutely quality. Quality. Well, what, what but if you put some, somebody in the right putting crosses in you look at Niall Quinn was great with the head so you look at that and you think, well, maybe he's you like Niall Quinn, great, great with the head, and then obviously Phillips. I'd be happy. With, I'd be happy with Quinn and Phillips. Yeah, and then personally, yeah, yeah, we're going for that. Right, yeah, then, so, 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 yeah. so recap. So what was the what right, was so Thomas Tomlinson. Thomas Tomlinson. Yeah, left then back. Was right back. Was left, right back was Bardsley. Bardsley. O'Shea, Kabul, centre backs. backs. Uh, left back. Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso. Yeah, Alonso. Yeah, Alonso. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously in front of him is Summerby on the right, right. Sessegnon in the middle, and then Defoe on the left. Yeah. Never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Quinn and Phillips yeah. up top. That's it got him in the team, though. That's a yeah, yeah, exactly. extra like You said, you know, he played on the left wing under Advocat. And so people say, well, why didn't name this one? Why didn't name that one? But we've done it sort of. I know Chris did tell us to sort of. I've, I've looked at it, but we're just totally fucked. We did actually, yeah. It's yeah, probably so just because we haven't even mentioned they were. So, so, so the fact we've managed to cut off the cuff, team, yeah. off the cuff, basically. And yeah. then the last one, a little bit of a curve here. Who's the best manager? Who would you give the manager to? Oh, this is a good one. Uh, this is a good one. Oh, that's a question. Who's, who's the best Martin, manager uh, Sunderland's ever had? Martin, 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 Martin. I know he's saying that for a bite. 
Um, okay, let's think. Lee, I'm jo- joking. Lee Johnson. I'm joking. Lee, Lee Johnson. No, I, I thought Martin O'Neill was going to be the best manager. I did think, but he wasn't. To be honest. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm I'm someone right. who didn't get the attachment to Martin O'Neill because obviously when, when and he was playing. So, so you, 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 you sort of like Mopia and I, I don't know O'Neill. Yeah, so no, I was like, no, yeah, no, yeah but because for me with Martin O'Neill, I think his first three months was good, but then afterwards it was turgid. It was no, it was absolutely yeah. terrible and. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there were rumours his wife wasn't well at the time, but then he shouldn't have been at Sunderland for me. He should then have been, shouldn't have been in the job. Mm. Best manager. Just, see, the problem is, since I've got into it, all I've known then is really relegation battles and being really, yeah. really shite. So, like, how <laughs> many good managers have I seen? Um, I imagine one of your options is Peter Reid, because of getting promoted, he's, then he's, two, two seventh place finishes. He's got to be up there, because oh, the, the seventh place finishes, and he was at the club for, I think, seven... seven Sunderland hero, another one there, yeah. yeah. He won a lot of the derbies, I know he... I'm not sure if he did or not. Did or not. He might have lost the one, but might have lost a couple. But he definitely won uh, two of them. I remember the Ream one in '99 and the 2000. Yeah, right, St James. So he, yeah, yeah, he done. Um, he won the two derbies in seven. You know, with limited resources, didn't really spend much money. Uh, didn't get much money. Can you imagine if we actually established ourselves at that point, and then we we're sorry competing for Europe. But um, yeah. for me, obviously, the best one I've probably seen, and again, it's it's probably Big Sam for me. I am. That's the one I'm thinking of. But obviously, Peter Reid got us to seven twice, whereas Big Sam's kept us. In, but I, but I must admit, with Big Sam, I was confident we could have really kicked on. And just well, he, he, he gets a bad rap, Big Sam. But I mean, he, he, you know he's an England. In, in, you know, he, he could have gotten the job if he never was, been was a, a fool. I think, and I think it would have been. A I think so. Well, to, be, to be fair, he's got a hundred percent win record. For England. <laughs> oh, given that was it, wasn't yeah, it? exactly. I think oh. the, the thing is for me with Big Sam, right? I think because a lot of people give him stick because of the football he played. But mm-hmm. the football at Sunderland actually wasn't that bad. I thought the football was pretty good. Yeah, I thought the football because. People associate Big Sam with long ball, uh, lumps up front. I thought we, we played some good stuff, yeah. actually. I think Big Sam was one of the best at adapting to what he had. Mm-hmm. And he managed to get Coney, Kirchhoff and Kazri in that summer win- in that January window. And three players that none of us had heard of yeah. integrated them into the team. And we, I mean, we were better as a team for it. Definitely. So for me, I think Big Sam is, is, is who mm-hmm. I would personally pick. But obviously that's only based on nine months once, here once but I, same, honestly yeah. I can't stress I would I would have been confident we would have done much better oh, the following season if he had stayed would definitely we would have been we could have been in the top half on no, the I would have been you, you, you would have been great I think I think you would have done well under England I mean if you look at Sean Dyche I know it's going off topic a little bit but Sean Dyche at Everton he's doing absolute he's wonders there some, yeah, some, yeah, some people time, time, but he obviously lost the last couple but lost to Man City so right. like, that's no great shape I, I think though when you when you get managers like that who are labelled as oh that's all they are as a manager you can go under the radar a little bit I think if they had a bit of money you honestly, know it's managers yeah, like that honestly, if you give them a chance rather than just fighting relegation people, yeah. I honestly reckon if people looked at some of those football under Big Sam mm-hmm. oh, I thought we did yeah. the, the one game I'm stuff. thinking the one of the games I'm thinking of was when it was, in, it was February 2016 we played Man City in the stadium and like we battered them yeah, we yeah. should have got at least a point out of that game yeah. maybe even a win like we, we so won, I was wondering if it was something like Michael Arles won it no it yeah. was but the point was we played a really good Man City team off the park yeah, and, should, yeah, yeah. and should have easily got something yeah. out of the game so I think Big Sam had us playing pretty good Big Man United didn't remember Corny got the winner deserved to win that game as well I came from two another Chelsea, that Chelsea game was unforgettable. Oh, that was that Chelsea, Chelsea was game was unreal. Yeah. The noise, the atmosphere, the noise when the full scored was, was deafening. I've never known a, 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 I've never known a, well, apart from the Newcastle game, it's it's up there. In terms of non-derby games, it's uh, one of the best yeah. atmospheres I've ever seen. That if Big Sam had stayed, I think it would it would definitely be. That's the, what, you know what you said. Would, and that's why we're just debating here. Do you know what you said? Sunderland's the biggest what if. That's probably the biggest one. One of the biggest ones for me is what if Big Sam hadn't left. What mm. if he stayed? Gus Poyet, would you not sort of? Or do you think I like that? Gus Poyet, but I wouldn't put him up. No, I, th- I think it soured quite a lot towards the Big end. Big Sam and, and Peter Reid. That's probably the two that we've got to think. Who so we're saying for that then? It's tough. I think as much as I love Big Sam, you probably have to go Peter Reid. I think he's a club legend. Just because he's mm. got, that close seven, to getting us into the seven, six got, year he got us into a position where now would have got us into Europe at the time. Exactly. And I, I think so he, if Bob Murray had given the money when he, when he said it, if we'd established ourselves stadium, at that point, then we could have been... But he asked for the money, Bob Murray said, no, I'm extending the stadium instead. No, mm-hmm. so you think, well, yeah. we, could have, we could have been a real European giant. Could have been. We could have been a giant. Could have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should, that's where we should be trying to aim to get. Yeah, get back to the Premier League and trying to get back to... You know, I'm trying to get European uh-huh. football for that's me. That's, you know, that's, that's where long term. I don't yeah. see any reason with all the clubs that have been there why we shouldn't be looking at it. So, Definitely. but not for me. As much as I love Big Sam, Pe- I'd be Peter willing to give it a Peter, Peter Reid. There we go. So that is the Sunderland all-time eleven. We'll do the Newcastle side of it. We'll match them up against each other and do the combined Newcastle we are side, Tyne side all-time eleven. Like, follow, subscribe if you're not doing it already. And if you don't follow them already, you want to plug the channels again? Is that the camera? Yeah, SFC fans, we are. 
Don't subscribe to that one. 4,100 uh, subscribers. So please subscribe to that channel. Also, Michael Bowers is on 4,000. Yeah, 4,000. I think it's 4,870 something maybe. Yeah. But so I'm not far off 5,000. But yeah, if you could, yeah, as Sean says, it's absolutely free and doesn't cost a penny. <laughs> Absolutely free, doesn't cost me. Get it on a T-shirt, <laughs> get that phrase, get it coined. But um, yeah, for me, yeah, just yeah, get, give a subscription if you want. Yeah, I'm trying to get a 5K. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, and supporting. Yeah, and this is the this is the fourth of four videos that we've done with these guys. We do them every season. Friends of the channel. Uh, feel free to check out the rest of them. And like I say, like, follow, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and here's the next one.